In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create a custom matcher. An example we have here is where we're using dot has name with the assert that assertion. A custom matcher can help us to improve the readability uh, for our unit tests a step beyond the regular matches that come with the assertj package. In my previous video, we took a look at using assert that to improve the readability of our unit tests beyond the typical JUnit assertions. So this is kind of the second step to improving the readability with the custom matches. So before we begin creating our custom matcher, I just want to point out that I've created a couple packages here called statistics. And that's what I've added from the previous video, which is where I've taken our player and player statistics class and put them in their own little package. The reason for this will be explained a little bit later on when we actually come to writing the custom matcher, but essentially it just helps us to improve the readability. So the first step towards creating our custom matcher is going to be to create our own class that will store that custom matcher. So I've created a class here called player assert within the test the statistics package. I'm just going to open this up here. And within this class is where we're going to define how our matcher is going to be created. And then we're going to be using that matcher within the actual test class itself. So with our player assert class, the first thing we're going to do is extend the abstract assert class, passing in the player assert and player as generics. So the first generic will simply be the class itself. And then the second generic is a class that this player assert class will be used for testing. The class will require us to override the abstract constructor. So by extending the abstract assert class, our player assert class will have access to all of the methods and variables within abstract assert. So I can do a search upon abstract assert. And we can see some of the methods which we'll have access to, such as is equal to, is not equal to, is not null. If we scroll up, we can see some of the other methods, such as fail, fail with actual expected and message, and also fail with message and failure. These are all methods that we'll be using within our custom matcher, and it will help us to build our own logic behind the assertion that is being created. So before we begin creating our custom matcher, I'm just going to create the unit test that we'll be refactoring with our custom matcher. So we'll be using the assertj assert that assertion to ensure that the constructor of the player class is correctly assigning the name of the player. So if we look in the player class, we have this constructor which takes in the name and age, then it assigns that name and then we'll be using the getter of the name to assert upon that. So we created a player called Stuart, who's 30 years old, and then we have a simple assertion, assert that player.getName is equal to Stuart. Now if I run this test, we can expect it to pass. So when it comes to creating our custom matcher, the first part of the custom matcher that we will want to recreate is this assert that statement. And the assert that statement we'll be creating will be returning an instance of our player assert, because once that has happened, we can then create our custom matcher, which is a method call within the player assert class that we will then use to create the logic. So the first part will be a static assert that method, which returns the player assert class. And as we can see here, we're passing in the string of get name. However, to make the assert that method a little bit more generic, we will just be passing in the player itself. And that way we can dive a little bit deeper down into the customization of the assertion to define exactly what type of object we would like to extract from the player to then be asserting upon. And as every assertion that we create with this play assert class will be starting with assert that, we can refactor this method to instead to instead call the constructor of the superclass so we can remove this overridden constructor for play assert. 
So if we take a look at the play assert class, we have this assert that static method, which will return an instance of the player assert class through the constructor. And that essentially returns an instance of this extension of the abstract assert class. So what we're now ready to do is to create that custom assertion that we can use after we've used this assert that static method from the player assert class. So when it comes to creating our custom matcher, the first point we want to do is return the play assert class from the method. And the reason we're doing that is because the play assert class that extends the abstract assert class will essentially cause our method to either pass or to fail. Next, we will call our custom matcher a name. And typically that name will be what we're calling here. So for our case, it would be has name. I think that would follow the readability of this test quite nicely. And then the method will be taking in a string of what we expect the actual class to be returning. So within our custom matcher, the first check we want to do is to make sure that the argument that is passed in is not null. So we can actually use one of the methods from the abstract assert class to assert upon that. So that way, if the expected name that is passed in is null, the test will automatically fail with a null pointer exception. The next part of our custom matcher will be the logical part of our test. So this is where we're checking the expected name being equal to the actual object's name. Uh, that way we can then pass or fail the test. So this keyword of actual is part of the abstract assert class once again, and it represents the actual object which we're going to be testing. And because we're using the player generic up here, we know that this actual value will be of a player instance. So in this if statement, we will be checking if the actual get name is equal to this expected name. And if this if statement is true, then our test will fail. Otherwise it will be passing and we can return, we can return the play assert instance itself. So if our test is failing, then what we want to do is throw a fail message that is quite descriptive and that allows our user to understand why the test has failed. So to cause the test to fail with a certain message, we can use the fail with message method from the abstract assert class, and we can override it to provide our own custom message. So this would cause our test to fail with the message expected name with the name that was expected, but was the actual name that was returned. I'm just going to update the second argument of our super constructor, because I realize this is incorrect and we want it to be pointing to the actual player assert class itself. So now that we've written our has name and our assert that methods, we can now begin using this custom matcher to write our own custom assertions. So I'm going to move into the test class and we can begin using our custom matcher. So the first keyword we'll use is assert that. And we will be passing in the actual player, which will be, which will be simulating this constructor here. And then we will do the has name method and we will expect the name of Stuart. Now the reason has name is currently in red is because our test class assumes we're using the assert j library for assert that. So to fix this, we can just type play assert at the start. And now we've solved that compile error because it knows it's using the assert that method from the play assert class. It still looks a little bit messy, Ideally, we can remove this play assert line here. So we can do that by importing this assert that method from the play assert class in the import statements at the top here. And this is coming back to the purpose of having this statistics package. Because with the package name, we can now import the static method. If the play assert class wasn't stored within a package, 
we wouldn't be able to import it into our test class itself. I can now test the custom matcher by running the test. And now if I change the expected value to be something that isn't Stuart, we can expect that test to fail, passing us the error message that we created. So it says the expected name that we passed in was Stuart1, but the actual name was Stuart. So that summarizes this video on how to create a custom matcher. We've looked at the general design of extending the abstract assert class using the assert that static method to call the super constructor and then creating our own custom matcher below using the has name method name fail with message method and also calling that is not null method before we do the actual logic of the method itself.